Okay, honey, it's 95 degrees. <laughs> you need this setting spray. You need Hey Vixen Gang, welcome back to the Plus Art Vixen YouTube channel. As y'all saw in today's title, we're going to be talking about some summer makeup must-haves, especially for my oily girls. I have very oily skin, and I know a lot of times we're trying to figure out what can we put on our skin so we not going outside. And in the house, our beat is beaten, but when we go outside, we looking like an oil slick. So I got you. These are some of the products I use. So I'm going to share it with you and let me know in the comments if you use these same products. Before we get started though, I'm definitely going to need you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel sis. Join the Vixen gang. Gang gang. Let's get it started. So before we even apply any makeup or any skin tint to our face, we definitely have to moisturize. Now I have a lot of them, but I narrowed it down to my top three that I technically use. First one coming in is the Snail Mucin. I use this after I wash my face. I t sometimes, not all the times, I use Witch Hazel, then I add this. So I definitely use my Snail Mucin. I use no other than Ordinary Moisturizing. This is definitely a staple. And last but not least, because it is the summertime, we definitely need no other than sunscreen. So I use my Black Girl sunscreen. This one has SPF 45. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I use a little bit of this and spread it. You know, I know y'all be saying three fingers, but I ain't gonna lie, honey. This ain't cheap. So I have other moisturizers that might have SPF 15. So I mix the both of them together. And we getting at least a good almost 60 SPF on the skin. So definitely skin prep is a must. Moisturize your skin. Even if it's oily, still moisturize your skin. And definitely don't forget to add your sunscreen. Now, we got our skin prep. We got our skin moisturized primers. Now, I'm going to say it again. You have to prime your face. Stop putting makeup on without no primer. My top three, especially since it's hot, I sweat in oily skin. I definitely do the e.l.f. Power Grip. This is definitely a staple. I recently started trying the e.l.f. Jelly Pop. This is this is this is everything. But last but not least, last but not least, is the one size Secure the Sweat Primer, honey. If you sweat like sweat 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 you have to add this now again i don't use much of this i really put it more in my t-zone so the forehead down the middle under the eyes but definitely add this into because honey this gonna keep you together oil slick who cool. <laughs> shining i mean you might shine a little bit let me not make it seem like sweat is still not going to come out it is but it's not going to be as bad if you never put this on so definitely add those now, during the summer, I really don't do a full coverage foundation. I try to keep it light. I try to keep it cute. So what I normally use is a moisturizing skin tint. Now, I know there's a lot of brands out there. I haven't tried many, but one I really like is the Maybelline Fit Me. I use 370. Honey, it's Chef Kiss. And again, it's inexpensive and it does the job. This is definitely a staple, especially if you just want a lightweight look. You, you're not looking for the beat beat. You, you're looking for like, I got some beat, but it ain't like beat down. This is what you want to do. Another thing I like to use too besides that is the e.l.f. Liquid Halo Glow. This is in color Deep Rich. I use this and sometimes I just use this on like the hyperpigmentation parts of my face like typically under my eyes is a little darker around my mouth and blend it out and keep it pushing these right here is so good to me I definitely want to try some more skin tints and stuff but right now those are my go-to especially during the summer or warmer months because I don't want too much I, I want a little coverage but I don't want it over the top so these definitely work now to get all that together to keep it together what i do do in between 
my makeup is spray setting spray the first one i've been using lately is the ruby kisses matted so after i put something on i spray blend it out spray because i feel like when you spray set and spray in between each process or each step you do it really helps with keeping everything together because everything is set and don't forget a handy dandy fan Granted, it blend it out spray give maybe two minutes and let it dry down some before we keep moving to the next step in spraying. Let it dry. So get a fan. You can find those fans now on Amazon, Shein. I think every site now got those fans. And to finish everything, to seal it and top it off, that one size setting spray. Honey, it's 95 degrees. <laughs> you need this setting spray. You need to set that makeup so it ain't moving. We ain't trying to have you out here looking crazy. But again, let me be clear because I feel like when I see a lot of these commercials or social media videos, they make it seem like you no longer sweat. If you're a true sweater, your face might have a shine to it, but the best thing to keep with you then is one of these puffs. So you could just pat the makeup or if you got the black tissues or some type of tissue where you could black because you still are going to sweat, but this could help decrease some of the sweat and i believe too they have this in travel size so sis if you got to get a smaller one and go blah blah then spray a little bit more cool but i have seen people said they wore this for hours and really nothing moved but i did see some people still look glistening like that shine came so you could just blah blah last but not least because i just forgot something hold on last but not least is a setting powder now i tried so many setting powders but my favorite has so far been the maybelline fit me and i get this in deep honey before the final spraying of you know putting the setting spray definitely use the powder i use it under my eyes and i hit my forehead and sometimes i hit here definitely put the powder this will also help you a lot because now you're kind of like powdering it on so hopefully it does it absorbs some of the sweat that might be trying to come through those pores so don't forget the setting powder now i can't say if what is it if the banana powder or what powders is better but just don't forget your setting powder once everything is blended out put your setting powder spray dry you know finish patting it out spray one good last time and be good to go but the best key to success when it comes to just summertime makeup is keep a fan with you keep a fan they have so many portable fans nowadays keep that fan on so you can keep your beat together because honey believe me you won't look like a star this summer that's the goal <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video make sure you like press the thumbs up the notification bell so you can always get notified when new videos are up also join the game because we talk about fashion over here we talk about makeup we talk about style and if that's the content you're looking for then you have found the right place until next time be great and make sure you subscribe